Welcome back to the Just Grill and Outdoor Living channel. I'm Sam. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the Artisan Grill line. The Artisan Grill line is one that we really like here at Just Grill and Outdoor Living. The grills are reliable, they're durable, they have great performance, and they meet the needs of a lot of our clients. And they come in at a very good price point for the value-driven consumer. It's great to hear all of that, but I'd rather show you so you can make that decision for yourself. Now before I dive in, there's a couple important things I want to go through, as well as set some expectations for this video. We put a lot of effort into making these videos, so if you are considering making an Artisan Grill purchase, we do ask that you come see us in store and give us that opportunity to earn your business. Another way that you can support us is by purchasing a Super Thanks. So if you're not local to us and we don't have a chance to earn your business on Artisan, maybe pay it forward a little bit for helping you make a decision on the Artisan line as well as helping others out. It doesn't have to be much, but it's greatly appreciated. Another way that you can help us is by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, as well as leaving a nice comment below if you found the video helpful. It's free to do all of that and it helps us out a ton. Now the main part of this video is really gonna focus on the artisan grills, but I'm gonna cover everything else in terms of the other gas appliances, refrigeration and storage, but the main part of it is on the grills itself. Now I'm not gonna to touch on pricing in this video as that information does change a little too often, so I don't wanna give you the wrong info. Now at the end of everything, I'm gonna give you a recap as well as some recommendations. Now let's go ahead and dive in. The Artisan Grill line is a sister brand to the luxury Alfresco Grills line. Artisan is basically a scaled down version of the Alfresco line. Now for my car people, it's basically like Lexus and Toyota. Two brands made by the same company, one brand just a little more luxury than the other. But overall, that company is well known for making good, reliable products. Artisan makes all of their products here in the USA with the exception of the outdoor refrigerator. A small number of component materials originate from overseas, but all of the manufacturing and assembly is done right here in the United States. Artisan started in 2011 and has continued to grow and expand on the line ever since, which is a really good sign when you're investing in a grill brand. The information I'm about to cover is very important, so make sure you pay close attention. We'll get into the grill features next, but I wanna explain this first. Within the grill lineup for Artisan is two lines of grills. There's the Professional Series, which are the ARTP models, and then there's the more economical American Eagle line. There really is not a massive difference between the two lines other than these five things. The first is the professional models come with interior lights and control panel lights. The American Eagle line will not have these features. The next difference is the professional models come with an infrared rotisserie burner, the rotisserie motor, and the rotisserie rod. The American Eagle line does not come with this. The next difference is the grill sizes offered. The Professional Series is offered in 32, 36, and 42 inch grills. American Eagle grills are offered in 26, 32, and 36 inch sizes. The burners on the Professional Series can produce up to 20,000 BTUs each. The burners on the American Eagle Series go up to 18,000 BTUs each. The last difference between the two lines is the igniter. The Professional Series uses a 110 volt electronic igniter. The American Eagle uses a nine volt electronic ignition. Now that we know the grill line differences, let's talk about the standard features with all Artisan grills. Every Artisan grill body is gonna be commercial grade 304 stainless steel top to bottom. The hoods are gonna be double walled for insulation and to protect against discoloring. The hoods use a spring assist to make it lightweight for opening and closing. Artisan grills feature heavy duty stainless steel cooking grates that have a special non-stick polished finish. 
Underneath the grates are locked in place ceramic briquette trays that can be flipped over for easy cleaning. Artisan grills use U-shaped tube burners. The BTU output is good for both model lines as I mentioned earlier, and this style burner is really well liked within the industry for its performance and reliability. Artisan also protects the control panel from heat with their air cooling curtain between the panel and cook box. They use heat protecting silicone sleeves over internal wires that protect the wires long term from heat damage. The top rack on all grills is adjustable to either be in a usable position or tuck it out of the way so that way when you're using something like the rotisserie you have more space. I mentioned it earlier but just to rehash, you also get spring assisted hinges for the hood which is standard on all models and you're also going to get a dome thermometer in the hood as well. Grease and oils are going to funnel into the lowered grease tray. It is removable for easy emptying and cleaning. Artisan offers all grills in built-in or cart models. Now the carts are going to feature a slide-out tank drawer if the grill is an LP, meaning propane. Natural gas models are just going to have more cabinet space and a hole in the back for your natural gas hose to come through. There's also an interior shelf inside the cabinet. Now the cart grills also come with two side shelves that connect to bolted brackets on the side. The grill features four swivel casters with two locking caster wheels. As for upgrades to your Artisan grill, there's five potential upgrades you can get for the grills. The first upgrade is the infrared sear zone burner to replace one of the U-shaped tubular burners. The infrared sear zone burner gets super hot, providing an intense heat with virtually no flare-ups. This upgrade is worth it if you really like cooking steaks, tuna steaks, or you want to get a quick flash sear on pork, chicken, you name it. You aren't using this to actually cook the food all the way through, but more for a crust on the outside of your food. The second upgrade is kind of a two-parter to the first one. If you get the infrared sear zone burner, you could also purchase the sear zone grate to replace the standard stainless steel rod cooking grate if you wanted to. The third upgrade is the rotisserie kit, and this really only applies to people that purchase the American Eagle grills. However, you're not going to be able to install an infrared rotisserie burner after the fact, but you can add the rotisserie to your grill if you want to. The fourth upgrade is the stainless steel griddle. This is going to be great for turning a portion of your cooking area into a flat top cooking area. The griddle insert is easy to use and just sits right on top of the grates. And the last upgrade, and this is for cart model grills only, is you can purchase one of the side burners, whether it's a single or double, with the cart shelf mount kit to add a side burner to your cart grill if you want to. The Artisan line doesn't just stop with grills. The line includes many other cooking appliances to complete your outdoor kitchen, including a single side burner, double side burner, power burner, and countertop pizza oven. This video will take too long if I went into specifics of each appliance. The purpose is to show that if you want to create an outdoor kitchen with Artisan appliances, they pretty much have everything you could want to add in a cooking appliance covered in the line. All of these appliances work very well and are just as reliable as their grills. Artisan only makes one version of each of these appliances. You don't need to worry if it's an American Eagle or ARTP. That's only for the grills. To complete your outdoor kitchen, Artisan offers a variety of storage solutions from doors and drawers to trash bins and ice chests. All of these products match the same stainless as the grill and other cooking appliances if you're trying to keep a consistent look in your outdoor kitchen. Artisan also offers an outdoor refrigerator. This is the lone product in the line that is not made in the USA. I'm not saying that as a knock. For the price point this fridge sits at, it's a decent outdoor refrigerator with low maintenance callbacks from what we've seen. The door handle will match the grill lid handle and it also has stainless steel shelves on the inside, so it is a nice refrigerator for the price point that it comes in at. Now that we've been through the entire line, you can see there's more than enough products in the Artisan line to complete an outdoor kitchen. So let's move on to the grill. We're gonna run some performance tests now, and then we'll do a recap, as well as give you some recommendations afterwards.
Let's test the heat performance of the grill. Today we'll be using a regular tool that the average person has access to. I'm gonna be using the Fireboard 2 Pro with three ambient probes to give us the readings across the grill grates. Our test starts with one burner on the lowest setting. We'll use the far left burner for the single burner test. We'll give all tests a 15 minute window to heat since gas grills are known for their speed of heating, but we also wanna let it kinda of stabilize a little bit. With one burner on low, we're getting about 290 degrees at the grates with the burner on and 130 to 120 as we move away from the heat source. The next setting is the single burner on medium heat. You can see we jump a little over 200 degrees from our last reading to just south of 500 degrees. And finally, with the single burner on high, we take another significant jump with the single burner registering a little over 660 degrees. All of this is in Fahrenheit. You'll also notice that if you wanted to set up for an indirect cook, that this setting would work very well. Now let's test all three burners on their three main settings. With all three burners on low, you can see we're running anywhere from 375 degrees to around 430 degrees. When we move all three burners to medium heat output, we're registering anywhere in the high 600s to mid 700s across the grates. And with all burners set to high, we're registering extreme temperatures anywhere from 800 to 960 degrees. This heat output is impressive. Every grill is different, so the reason we run these performance tests is to really understand what we need to dial back. So anytime, whether it's an artisan grill or any grill, you want to run a test like this so that way you know how to fine tune your grill exactly how you need it. So as you noticed, the center middle burner was running a little bit hotter than the left and the right burner. So I would know that I just need to dial that back a little bit to help make everything even across the cooking surface. And you can apply that logic to any of the other burners if you notice a discrepancy like that. But for the performance that we saw out of this grill, it's phenomenal. So I know that it's just gonna take a little tweaking to get it dialed in exactly and fine tuned, but I'm not worried about that whatsoever. I also tested out the infrared sear burner. Due to the intense heat, you wanna leave the lid open when using this burner. Because the lid is open, the ambient probe test isn't gonna read as well, so we need to use our infrared thermometer gun. This gun reads up to 1,022 degrees before it just maxes out and says hi. Data is always good to learn, but it does help to see how certain foods cook when using this grill. First up, it's grilled chicken breast, a simple weeknight staple. With the grill dialed in, it does a great job grilling the chicken breast without burning it, but giving us some decent grill marks. Next up we have burgers. I cooked them two ways on here. The first batch was directly on the cooking grates, and you can see we get some flare-ups when we're cooking, but nothing that's not to be expected when you're cooking burgers. Nothing out of the norm stood out to me, and the burgers came out great. I also use the griddle insert, which I love for smash burgers. I make mine a little thicker than what they should be, but they still come out great and they cook pretty fast with the griddle. I also love this accessory for toasting buns. If you aren't toasting your buns, you are missing out. And lastly, I put the sear burner to work. This boneless ribeye cooked fast and got an amazing crust on the outside. The crosshatch marks were just okay but I don't really care for that anyway. And that's also why Artisan offers that upgraded sear zone grate for better crosshatch marks and a little better flavor. The last subject to touch on is warranty. This information is always subject to change, so what I tell you today might not necessarily be correct tomorrow, so I always encourage you to verify that information that I'm telling you. Now, as of making this video, the warranty as you see on the screen, your warranty for an artisan gas grill covers the burners for 15 years. The body of the grill and cooking grates are covered for 10 years. The trays holding the briquettes are covered for three years and the briquettes are not included. And the grill starts off with a full one year parts and labor warranty for any issues. This is a good solid warranty that we find our consumers 
really don't have to use. If you are someone that values a good, reliable product, but doesn't need every bell and whistle, that's why I think the Artisan line is the perfect match for you. For the price point of all of their products and the breadth of products in the line, this line just makes a lot of sense for a value-driven consumer. As for my recommendations, I'm gonna make this very easy. I would aim for the ARTP Professional Series models, specifically the 32 or 36 inch grill. I think those two sizes are suitable for most needs at home, unless you really need that extra cooking space, and then that's where the 42 inch makes a lot of sense. I really like the ARTP Professional models for the lights inside. You might not care for the other few feature upgrades versus the American Eagles, but those lights, they definitely make it worth it. My next recommendation is gonna be on side burners. If you are adding a side burner, I really like the double side burner versus the single. Now, this is not a performance-based recommendation. The reason for this is solely on the aesthetic of how it looks in the kitchen. I just prefer the double side burner. It looks more professional how it's built into the kitchen versus the drop-in single side burner. It's tough to go wrong picking any product in the Artisan line, but if you just can't make a choice or you need professional help, again, please come see us in our showroom. Our experts will be glad to help you. We've represented the Artisan line since its inception in 2011, and we've installed hundreds of these in outdoor kitchens. We know it's a great product. We know you're gonna love it. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're liking it. Subscribe to our channel so that way you get notified of other videos similar to this. And if you like this video, leave a nice comment below as well. Again, if you have any questions on the Artisan line, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or come see us in our showroom. We'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.